Thank you, Ambassador. I now give the floor to the Chief of the State Migration Service of Azerbaijan, Busal Husseinov. You have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Dear High Commissioner, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for us as well to take part and deliver a statement in the first ever Global Refugee Forum, which is a historic event and at the same time profound action in terms of solidarity and burden sharing related to the problems of refugees. We believe this platform will enable states and other stakeholders to maximize their potential in addressing also root causes of everlasting refugee crisis. Countless and tremendous efforts by international community have been and still being exhausted towards the solution of the problems of refugees. But yet we are still far from the happy end. Numbers are growing, needs are escalating, but unfortunately measures and endeavors fail to catch up with the refugee influx. International community is now focused on and expect bold measures as well as ambitious outcomes from the Global Compact on Refugees in which the world has ad agreed to address the refugee situation in a more holistic and proactive way. We believe this forum and follow-up actions will prove that international community has made the right decision by endorsing this significant document. Azerbaijan is a true supporter of Global Compact on Refugees and due to its historical background fully understands complexity of the protracted refugee situations and acknowledges struggle by the states receiving large refugee populations. In the aftermath of the occupation of our territories by neighboring Armenia, one million people out of then eight million population became refugees and internally displaced persons in Azerbaijan. We understand and appreciate the role of global community as well as assistance of international organizations, in particular UNHCR, us in overcoming this humanitarian catastrophe. Unfortunately, due to continuing occupation and aggression policy of Armenia, hundreds of thousands still cannot return to their homeland. When we talk about solutions, we mostly focus on existing hotspots or trending problems, but we put aside situations which await its solution for years. As a country suffering from similar type of situation, regretfully we have to underline lack of solidarity, double standards in application of international legal instruments as a contributing factor to escalation of numbers and scale of the problem. We believe that this platform will also enable stakeholders to mobilize all efforts and ensure solidarity towards solving long-standing situations in limbo together with extinguishing conflicts in global hotspots. Lastly, we want to note that Azerbaijan will continue close cooperation with the UNHCR and consider making increase in its support to global programs of the organization, as well as including complementary protection to the national legislation in the upcoming years. We will further increase our efforts to include refugees as well as persons under the protection of UNHCR into the medical insurance system. Secondly, facilitate legal employment and access to labor market for refugees. And thirdly, to grant tertiary education scholarship to a person per year who has been granted refugee status in Azerbaijan. Finally, we do hope that when we gather for the next Global Refugee Forum, we'll witness a world with fewer refugees, less conflicts and less challenges with the common and concerted efforts, as well as engagement by all stakeholders of international community. Mr. Chairman, with your permission now, I would like to continue my spe statement speaking on behalf of the Azerbaijani chairmanship of the non-aligned movement. I would like to inform the forum that at 18th summit of the non-aligned movement held in Azerbaijan this year, the heads of state and government of non-member states took a specific focus on refugee problems and addressed a number of cases involving flow of refugees and other forcibly displaced people. Non-member states recalled with appreciation the 2016 New Year Declaration for Refugees and Migrants and emphasized the need to respect international refugee law. Refugee problems require the international community to attach more focused attention and sustain continuous efforts toward their solutions, mainly in countries of origin and as appropriate in the countries affected by refugee crises. Therefore, the now member states attach particular significance to the Global Compact on Refugees. In the presence of large-scale refugee movements and protracted refugee situations around the world, the non-member states are of the view that the measures to alleviate the sufferings of refugees must be accompanied by dedicated efforts of international community to address the root cause of the problem. The non-member states also underline the utmost importance of the promotion and protection of human rights of all refugees and call upon all UN member states to avoid discriminatory measures against refugees as to race, religion or country of origin. 
The non-aligned movement considers this forum as a unique platform for sharing of good practices by UN member states and other stakeholders. In this regard, the non-member states express their readiness to explore options for further development of cooperation with UNHCR and other UN humanitarian agencies. I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.